Hi there. First of all, thank you so much for participating in our poppy creation. Um, you will need the following equipment. So you've got your ball of clay. Um, you'll need a template, something like a wooden board like this one to be able to work on, a rolling pin, or if you don't have a rolling pin or just don't want to get it all covered in clay, um, an old glass bottle that you can just roll with, and then something you can cut with. I've got proper wooden tools here, but you can also use things like glue spreaders, cocktail sticks, old plastic cutlery, and some water. Okay. Right, um, I've already slabbed most of the clay. It is air dry clay, so it doesn't need slabbing, but if you've got a bit of anger and you just want to get it out, you can literally just throw it onto the table to get any excess. It's really hard to do this one-handed. <laughs> um, air out of the clay, all right? Um, next thing, and as I say, this I'm trying to do this one-handed because I've put my phone holder that I usually do videos with somewhere really safe. Um, when you're rolling it out, you want it to be about a centimeter thick. Um, it doesn't need to be perfect because poppies are quite organic. And then just use the heel of your hand as well to give it a little bit of texture. Okay, so you can see the thickness there. You're then going to place your template on top. Right, I'm going to come back once I've cut this out with both hands. And I'm back. Okay, I have, with both my hands, cut the basic poppy shape out. What I'm going to do next is just cut these petal edges like so. And then, wetting my fingers... I'm going to start pinching the edges and this just means that the edges are far more organic and just running my fingers along the edge and start to shape my poppy. Okay. I need both hands, I'll be back. Okay, this is how far I've got now. What I've done is soften the edges and just thin them out a little bit. Don't thin them too much, otherwise it will crack. And wherever there's an unsmooth section, just wet your finger and give it a little massage. There you go. And then I've just overlapped the petals. I've just rounded them off and overlapped them. Now, one thing that's really important is every now and again, check that you can pick it up because otherwise it sticks to your board. Okay. Right, the next thing you're gonna do, you should have some excess clay you're going to make um, one ball the size of a Malteser and one little kind of like cylinder shape the size of a Malteser, uh, size of a Rolo. So I tend to roll this onto a surface. Like so. Now this is going to be the base, and this will be the centre of the poppy. I'm going to decorate it a little bit and then show you how to attach all the different bits together. Okay, I have now decorated my poppy. I haven't put too much detail in and also please don't overfold the edges too much because it's a nightmare to paint. I'm painting these rather than glazing. Glazing is when you dunk it, whereas painting is with a paintbrush, so that would be appreciated. So this is scoring or it's sometimes called keying. And what I'm doing is extending the surface area. So when I attach my Rolo, it will have more area to grab onto so it's like two bits of key that link into each other you're then going to put a bit of water water works like the glue on both your rollo and your poppy if when you put the water in it gets a little bit kind of flat just add a little bit more scoring then you mush it very technical term this 
and you mush it together. Now you will, if you have both hands, you need to mush this together so it's seamless and there are no gaps. Seamlessness of that out now mixed together because I had both hands. What you then need to do with a straw or a needle or something, just make a hole so that some of them will be able to stand up with garden wire and pinch it slightly so it's not too big. I can fill it with glue and also with garden wire and then they can stand up. You're then going to do the same process for here to put this in the middle. So you're going to key the bottom of it and place that on top. Ta-da! This is one completed poppy. You see I've got everything's attached nicely. I'm just going to hold it for a few minutes just to give it a bit of stability because otherwise the petal can, petals can sometimes fall. If possible, try and keep it standing upright on its little Rolo base and then you know it's weighted correctly. That'll take about a day to dry and then we can paint them later on. I hope this has been helpful. You've also got your little handouts should you need them. Uh, and thank you very much for participating in this venture.